Hey guys, Zach from Mueller here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry, stuffed up nose. <laughs> um, anyways, let's get this video started with a quick sip of water. I spilled something on myself. But yeah, this is a Viking drinking horn. Got for about 40. Uh, came with a shoulder strap sleeve. Um, still not certain how this works myself. Um, but I believe, of course, I know you slide it on like this. Right? So, you slide on like this. And then, I'm assuming you're going to break this with this way. So, I'm assuming you hold it like this. I spilled more water on myself. <laughs> no, I believe this one's made of a resin and not a bone, but resin's pretty close. And the sleeves are made of leather, which is cool. And then, besides the shoulder one, I've also got a um, belt loop one, basically. And then, this nice metal stand that it just slides into. Uh, it goes right up there for now. Until next video, we'll see you down there. Because I decided that's where it's going. <clears throat> Anyways. Today we're doing another comp suggested video. I forgot to look before the video, so let's get into it. Uh, if you're the one who suggested this, please comment your name down below so that I can change up the comment. Battle jacket accessories. Now, I had to do a lot of research for this video. And by a lot, I mean not a lot, really. Uh, it was pretty easy. And, uh... Let's get into it. Studs and spikes. Probably the most common accessory you see. And it's usually done up on the shoulders or the back. I saw a guy who had a back patch and around it he just had spikes. So it was more of a punkish jacket, but battle jackets are punk and metal, so. You, yeah. Pins. I consider the main thing on battle jackets just patches. That's it. Pins can be an accessory. They're probably more a little more common than studs and spikes. Because I don't plan on putting studs and spikes on mine just because I like to wear mine around. I want to go in mosh pits with mine and I don't want to hurt people. So. Painting. What I mean by that is okay, I don't have my battle jacket, but we're going to use this as an example. This is something I got from the thrift store. You can also find them at military surplus stores. I haven't done anything to it, it's just a military jacket. Camo jacket, basically. So say, for your back, right? Usually it's done on leather. So, what you do is you paint something you like on there. Something of a band, a pop culture, whatever. You paint something on there and make it look your own and a little bit better. You know, just to add some stuff to it. Chains. This is pretty simple. You can put them through like the loops. You can attach them on places. You can, you know, just sew them onto there somehow. I don't know. Put a stick spike through them to make sure that they stick. Drink holder. So, like, we'll go back to this. Hang on, let me get the one that I actually need for this. So you got this, right? There's this hole here. So through that and around, wrap it to the inside so that when you want you can slip the lightning horn in there, and now you have a drink holder. You can also do this for like, um, with the ones that hold the bottle caps. You can do that. That's a possibility too. Um, but yeah, drink holders. Homemade inner pockets. Now, my jacket came with inner pockets so we didn't have to do this, but say you get a denim vest, or a denim jacket, you cut off the sleeves. What you can do with those sleeves, so that you don't throw them away, is turn both of them into a deep inner pocket on the inside. You just have to figure out how to sew it so that it doesn't ruin the other pocket. Because no matter what my advice, keep the pockets. They come in handy. Trust me. A hood. I consider this an accessory. That's just me. You can have a hood just to throw over, but I don't have one because it covers up patches. Uh, what I did when I had it was I tucked it inside and on my back. But... I prefer not having a hood at all because I never use it. Inner murals. So, basically painting, but on the inside of the jacket. Band member signatures. 
say you get a patch from a band you like, or you're at a concert and you see one of the members and you have the patch there. You take it up to them, you get them to sign it, and you put it on your jacket. Or you have them sign it inside of the jacket. Either way, it works. You can also have them sign it inside, outside, whatever. Whatever you want to do, you can make that an entire battle jacket out of signatures. <laughs> so that, that would be a little bit challenging. Rips, tears, and fading. I consider these uh, to an extent. Pre-ripping, pre-tearing, and pre-fading, yeah, it's an accessory. Getting those naturally, no, that's not really an accessory, that's just experience. I wouldn't recommend this. I'd recommend, you know, actually going out, having experience with getting rips, you know, sign them back up if you want. But, if you do it, make sure it's not overly ripped, and just make it look pretty. So, a belt. Now, I've seen a lot with leather ones where it's like you can belt it down here and then zip it up and whatever. But you can also do this with a denim one, just take a belt you like, say, <clears throat> something like this, and you take it and you sew it across this part, right? And just have part of it dangling off, say about that much, maybe a little bit more, and you have this part dangling as well. So it's, you can belt it if you want. Okay, now it's stuck to me. <laughs> a bullet belt. You can actually add the bullet belt. The way you do this would be the same way, sew it on, or get one of the ones that's... You can either have a full bullet belt, or what I call a bullet belt holder, basically. Which is the belt with the like bullets built into the design. So, you can have those. And you can sew them on. <clears throat> Keychains. I have seen people do this. And basically what you do is you sew around the circle so it dangles, basically. But you get keychains from your favorite bands, favorite movies, favorite TV shows, anything. Zippers. Zippers can be used up like here on the pocket. I've seen like people put patches behind them so they can zip them up and zip them down to show off the patch. Ugh, stupid allergies. Um, <laughs> but you can do that, of course, and have that so it looks very nice like that. Laces. Now what I've seen with this is I've seen it the same way with the like pocket, but I've also seen it done on the back where it's like a crisscross pattern. So if you do that, that's that's another way you can ugh, you can do that and obviously add that to it to make it look more your own. Safety pins. I hate having stuff with nose, by the way. Sorry, uh, I've been doing it too much, you know, sucking in too much. Safety pins can be pinned through like pockets and just right around the jacket. This is more if you're going for a punk aesthetic. To it. Metal, you can still do it, but uh, for the most part, these are a punk jacket. Pen caps, uh, once again, punk thing. You can sew through the pen cap, around the pen cap, pin the pen cap on, use the pen cap like studs and spikes, whatever. Do that. Interior fur. What I mean by that is like fur on the inside, I wouldn't recommend this just because if you're going to sew patches through, it can cause like a really weird look to it. But if people don't see your inside of your jacket a lot, and you don't mind seeing that little part to it, then it should be fine. Collar fur. So like, jackets with like curve collars, fur collars, can be done like this. and. This one I would recommend more than the other one. You can't put pins up on the collar, so, oh well. Concert wristbands. So say you go to a concert and you get a wristband, what you can do is you can sew that onto a sleeve or you can sew it like this. And it can just show where you've been, where you've gone to, you know, all that. Now this one kind of falls under an accessory and not an accessory. Self-made patches. What I mean by that is Getting like, say you take a t-shirt that you don't like anymore, cut out a blank slip of it, put it, and you get like vinyl, and you print up something from your favorite band, or you print up something from a band that doesn't do this type of stuff, and you just get it and put it on your jacket. Definitely a good way to support that band, but the best way you can support them is by buying merch. Trust me. I recently did something that I don't regret. It was expensive, but I don't regret it. I bought, because I'd only heard this band like two days ago, but I have listened to almost 
almost three of their albums fully already because of how good they are. Their name is Kyron Argus, I believe is how you pronounce it. It means Iron Jaws in the Elvish language of Lord of the Rings, which I find amazing. Burzum did the same thing. It means darkness in the Elvish language of Lord of the Rings. But I pre-ordered their $50 bundle, which included a mask type thing, like uh, something you'd see biker wear, basically. Not a bandana, but similar to that. Um, a shirt, a CD, a digipack, and four glow-in-the-dark temporary tattoos that are collectible, I'm assuming. So I'm going to get those in May, so I have to wait a little bit. But I'm looking forward to it because they're a great band. Uh, if you haven't ever looked them up, I would. Um, I forgot the name of their some of their albums, but I'm going to recommend a Kangen Argrath album. I'll probably recommend the most recent one since that's what they're going for more stylistically, but each album kind of has... Stylistically, can somewhat be different, but it's, it all falls under the umbrella of black metal. And they have a sound that is very definitive. Uh, a lot of people compel, compare them to Septic Flesh, I believe, is what the band's name is, because of how their sound is. Now, they're really cool, their videos. Okay, so, a little bit of thing here. Videos should be done really well. Not just y you and the band playing with some cool effects and stuff like that. No. Have a really good video. And what I mean by that is, like, have it tell a story, like Derek's does. Have it done animated, have it done whatever. But just do it well. So yeah, I'm recommending a Kangen Iron Growth album. I believe is how you pronounce their name. I'm not certain. Um, besides that, check out the Facebook page. And uh, thank you for whoever let me use music this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.